Hello and welcome back to the channel. Okay, I know it's been a little bit of a weird place lately, let's say, with not having that many uploads. Um, Apologise for that, but here in the UK at time of filming, this is the uh, holiday period, so... Basically, I'm just, I would say, getting some well-needed uh, mental health R&R and, &R and stuff. And quite a lot of projects on at the moment. Now, today I thought we'd take a little bit of a change from Resident Evil and the stuff that we've been playing recently and move on to just doing a little bit of Tomb Raider because I've been enjoying this recently. I've managed to play through the Definitive Edition and sort of like going, working through it. I remember this. It's not like being not getting in that way one of the best seen. Tomb Raiders out there. Must be another way. And obviously, the last time I played this was actually on console. On um, I think it was the the Xbox Series X had it, but this graphically on PC just looked way better. Now I remember my controls. Here we go. Do the start. Do a short little video. A little Take bit of a play for it. Don't shoot. I'm not your enemy. And I'm not yours. But I am going to rob you with dead bodies. It's a bit kind of sadistic, that. But it's cool. Who are you, people? All that can come later. If you want answers, then listen close. We've managed to destroy the old radio tower. But there are repeaters that keep them connected. So yeah, if you I remember rightly, this down. was the last one that was Help. good from and I'll let the Crystal Dynamics. Trust you. Because need all the for some reason, can't. Square Inex. Um, I'll keep an eye out for them. Good. We don't have basically, time. if I remember rightly, my oh yeah, you need to upgrade this. Have we got any upgrades I can do? Roth is determined that I should learn how to shoot. Inventory. However, he tried to teach me today. I was utterly Equipment. hopeless. I've always said in the field you can't go wrong with a stout stick and good boots. I told him I was a man of words, not of weapons. Yeah. Um, if I remember rightly, basically, the first one was sold brilliantly. The second, this one, was funded by Microsoft. Um, they basically sponsored its creation due to the fact that at the time Uncharted 4 was coming I've out for the ranks of the enemy the, um, and learned that they come seeking the rich resources of the mountain. Yep, let's get that. Uncharted was coming out for the PlayStation, and at that point, Microsoft needed an adventure action game. You know, something to compete. But instead of actually coming up with a whole new IP, they thought, well, let's just sponsor Tomb Raider. Are the transmitters destroyed? Holy shit, have I done I it? I've just literally started, you yet, ball like. But I will. What a ball sack. <sighs> let's, uh, let's see if there's anything down here. If not, I can work my way back up. But yeah, it was a case of it was really good. Microsoft did really well at, at you know. Oh, that's there we go. Oh, you need more gear. But uh, yeah, they did basically well, and it was a good game. But then for the third one, which you know, this sold quite a lot. But for the third one, they decided to, uh, what was the word? Screw you, hippie. I'm going home, sort of thing, you know? Doing an Eric Cartman and just went and gave it to Eidos, of all people. And I, I, if I remember rightly, now, I don't know if this is substantiated or not, but it seems to be a fair assessment. Even um, Camilla Luddington just didn't have a heart in the job. You could see the third one, it was all monotoned and we were fooled. Just ridiculous. And I think that was its biggest mistake. Next to just being, you know, out alongside other cooler games at the time. But 
I like Tomb Raider. I thought it was great. I think it's got so much promise and premise to be done that, you know, I can't wait for the next one to come. Don't get me wrong. I love my Call of Duties and I love all these hardcore shooters and stuff. I like all games, but I do like a good Tomb Raider. But, um, yeah, like I say, you know, I was happy that Uncharted is finished. But apparently that's another bit of news for you. Apparently Uncharted is not finished now. And Naughty Dog are basically that... How can I say? Strapped for good ideas that they've decided to... Um, get out there and do another Uncharted with Nathan Drake. Instead of doing what they did with the expansion and just keep it with Chloe, you know, and maybe pop him in as an expansion, but use Chloe. She was good. That expansion to Uncharted 4 was amazing. But yeah. Right. So we've got to go and sort out these little um, signal tower things. This is going to be kind of cool. Sounds like someone's here. Oh crap. fun. I hate that where auto aims on and you're fighting it to get the headshots because it just locks on to whatever's closest. Stupid goddamn walls. Thank you. Need to get more information out of the prisoner. If Constantine has to do it himself, He's not going to be happy. We'll step up the pressure, but he's clearly had some experience with interrogation techniques before. We think he's the leader of the Remnant. He yeah. has to know about the Divine Source. Find his weakness. Get creative. This prisoner. Maybe I can find him. Yeah, that's later. And what we found today? A family photograph. Russian, late 1950s. Perhaps one of them was imprisoned here. <coughs> Something's Pardon written me. here. Remember. Hmm. So that's this side done. Alright, let's... Uh... Yeah, can open this one. I oh, don't need feathers anymore, that's good. Communication repeaters. Oh. Trinity must have installed these. Well, that's one down. Yeah, you need the um, flame arrows. I don't have any fire. Get that later. Okay. 
Okay. I need better weapons before I can go messing with walls. Climbing up. So yeah, like I say, I've just been having a nice relaxation time these days, playing some of this uh, cool Tomb Raider stuff. It's good for the mind and soul, as they say. You know? It's one of those things that it's good to have. Looks like we may have to fight some wolves. Not that I want to do. Not with the crappy tech that we've got right now. Also do with a rifle. Mushrooms, crap, some death's head. the um, bow require requisite for that <sighs> Trinity is after the source I should find out what they know yeah we can get that later when I get the equipment There's any upgrades available? I hope you received my last tape in good time. I am becoming increasingly fond of recording these messages to you. 
Anna says that I need time away from my books and papers every so often, if only to remember why I'm doing all this. Mm -hmm. I know you hate me going away, but it will be worth it one day. It will all be worth it. Sending my love to you. Work hard in school. Weapons. I know your work was important, but it didn't feel like it at the time. Still, it taught me independence. How to look after myself. Okay. Important lessons, as it turns out. So do we need to upgrade? I really hate wolves. In this game, they can be so bloody annoying. Let's see what we can find up here. What's in this a one today? Small, intricate clockwork toy made of bits of scrap metal and other detritus, all from the gulag. Hmm, must have taken a long time to gather the parts. the flags I need a knife apparently yeah go figure she's got a bow and arrow with a pointy sharp thing on it and a gun but she needs a knife to cut a rope Like I say, this game never really did want to be out there to make sense, it was just a bit of fun. And in that respect, it succeeded. Have you done it? Are the transmitters destroyed? The repeaters yeah, are offline. It's done. So it is. We don't have much to spare, but if you're fighting with us, you can use this. There you go. <clears throat> Yay! Woo! We got a lot fixed. Awesome. Yay! Hang on a minute. Does that really match? I've got to see this. Right. A USP match. That's what it's supposed to be. The moon shadow. That looks nothing like 
the USP match that the symbol that symbol you can see clearly Maybe there's a way to get up to the old prison doesn't even come close oh why did they do that how about any automatic weapons do we have any of those yet no Right, now we gotta go up there. I would love the uh, ability to pull down barriers with my bow like we used to in the, in the first one, but that ain't gonna happen for a while. Yes, there is an optional challenge too nearby. I think we can do that one as well. Let's have a look. Eat some 45 super, bitch, if it's a USP match. Haha! <laughs> Cocksucker. Alright, the entrance is. Yes, all. These markings, they're not Russian. Warning, maybe. Let's go. That was another thing I liked in the first one, you could put a torch on and off, but these lights ain't like that anymore. Looks these like this was abandoned in a hurry. Glow sticks, the you just Soviets don't do that. Something down there. was persecuted and so were his followers mm. but yeah like I say two really got it wrong with the guns he was saving the first one they showed a USP and it wasn't a USP at all you never got to use it and they showed like a G3 as your symbol for your rifle but you were using AKs I was like did they want to put HK weapons in there but couldn't get the license and now they're screwing with us? There's water down below. Sounds like a great volume. That's what I think happened. They did a Coin really good idea an and just basically, sorry, I just don't need to see that. But let's, uh, wee, <clears throat> thunk. But, um, yeah, it just, ah. Uh, you know, because, hey, she does. She's well known to be using the USPs. Two silver slided USP matches. And she used MP5s and things like that. You know. Dunk. Was I meant to jump and do that? I don't know. This is the system, if I remember rightly. Hmm. That's got to be part of the works. Get ready to drop. Three, two, one. Eee! Drop. <laughs> An oil cask. 
Yep. Way campfire. Skills. Hunter. The master of the land. Okay, cool. Weapons. Pistol. Keep the recoil down. Better accuracy is important. It's not about the amount of ammo you throw down range for the most part, it's just the accuracy. The water's eroding everything. At this rate, there won't be much left in a few decades. Yeah. Uh, she's very optimistic, isn't she? It's a system. around here, make sure there's no uh, hidden shit, and then we'll move on! Remember when you used to hold, run and uh, jump at the same time and she would immediately do a swan dive in the original Tomb Raiders? They were the days. Like I say, I do like Crystal Dynamics. I think they got the continuity right and the story was just great, but I'm sorry. Idos just need to give the well they don't need to anymore they've done it it's now owned by a, is it a Chinese company now that's bought out Tomb Raider God, she must be bloody freezing and all that. Is that hypothermia? Pneumonia. Water markings on the wall. The levels change. Oh, clever girl. Need more than one really to do this job. Come on, come on. Bingo. Should be able to swim through now. Woohoo! Figure that one out. Ooh. I do like the attention to detail, like the old fan designs are not just like what we know today. They they look distinctly like what could have been in that period, if you get what I mean. That's something that I really do like about the attention to detail that Crystal Dynamics put. We're just way better. This should be more than enough oil to light the passages below, but be careful. Right. Uh, 
Okay. Not only did they do one, but oh look, that magic's really reappeared. There you go. But now you have to do it again. But this time you've got to sort of like run, throw it on there. Yeah. And then we have to run up. again. There she is. Now we figured it, didn't we? Thinks he can beat us. We're awesome all of you guys out there. We're awesome. Voila. It was good though, but I still find it amazing how she learns these skills from a manuscript. An old Bible type manuscript. She's now learned natural instincts. Uh, jump and B at the same time to make you do a swan dive. Well, what did that get me? Weapon upgrades. No, bow and arrow. Shit. What did I get? What did I get? Ooh, the grip wrap. Nice. More powerful, quiet bolt. Nice. Right, guys. I think we'll leave it there for now. Like I said, I don't want it to go too long. But, yeah, so you can see what we've been doing lately. Like I say, just enjoying time with the family, getting some mental health, but playing Tomb Raider. And like I say, being an avid um, firearm fanatic, it's one of them that, you know, those little details, especially being autistic as well, it kind of like, you pick out on things, you see differences, and it's like, what the hell were they doing? But, you know, they I guess they got to do what they gotta do you know but no like I say Tomb Raider is still awesome you just gotta play it for what it is and enjoy it and that's generally what I do so with that said I'll see you guys in the next one and hopefully won't be so long